Here we have another outstanding volcanic glass paleo story stone face and mammoth effigy. This one dug up in West Java, Indonesia. This volcanic glass uh, is very interesting. Uh, it was unrecognized before uh, I had discovered this. Uh, after discovering face and mammoth effigies in October of 2020, I found that they were made out of everything that you can think of. Uh, they were made out of uh, rose quartz. That's a beautiful mammoth effigy with its eye and its trunk. Uh, that was from Madagascar. That's Madagascar rose quartz. And, and uh, people that are familiar with flaking, like arrowhead collectors, spear point collectors, uh, uh, knives that are flaked, uh, realize and understand that that stone's all been flaked to form that image. And the faces of the face have all been flaked. Well, the same thing with this glass. It was called Andara Crystal when I first recognized it as a story stone medium. And when I recognized the face and mammoth imagery, I knew immediately that it was naturally formed glass because nobody had known about face and mammoth effigies before my discovery in October of 2020. So I began to see that they were made out of this wonderful material. And uh, unfortunately, the Andara crystal people never did their homework and never did any scientific testing on this, nor did the geology discipline do any testing on it. It was overlooked. So I sent three samples, one uh, yellow, one green, and one blue, like this one, three effigies made out of this volcanic glass to the University of Stephen Austin, Texas, in Austin, Texas, a well-known, well-respected research university. And their geology department ran three tests on this glass, X-ray fluorescence testing to determine the elemental structure, which I do have indicated on a, a video posted to YouTube and my website entitled XRF Testing Confirms Naturally Occurring Volcanic Glass. I circled the elemental structure of it on an on a element chart, but I have not given the printout to anybody except Dr. Michael Gramley. He's the only one that has the scientific printout because he knows how to read it. Uh, you have to understand LOD and you have to understand certain uh, uh, terms and, uh, that are used uh, in uh, in uh, telling you what elements are included in the glass and what percentage of each element is included. And uh, the uh, geology department there did confirm that this is naturally occurring volcanic glass and is not man-made slag glass. Uh, that's been a misnomer for many, many years, but nobody had ever done their homework and nobody had ever done their testing until I did. And then Dr. Michael Gramley just confirmed this by doing his own testing and he emailed me not too long ago by, by stating and confirming that his testing also concluded that this is naturally occurring glass, not man-made, not slag, contrary to some people's beliefs. That's a beautiful mammoth here with the trunk here and the hair tuft here and the back being sculpted down there. And look at all the beautiful flaking that went on, and this is a well-patinated piece, all the flaking to get the edges like that all the way around. These people were masterful at not only flaking these, but also etching them for the mammoth hair to be, now we have a great powerful mammoth facing left. That's the adult mammoth with its eye up there. And this is a big heavy uh, piece. There we have it, a beautiful mammoth now heavy facing left. Outstanding. And there is hair that's etched on this. I don't want to spend too much time on all of that, but let's see about this side here. Now we have another mammoth facing right, right there. That's a cool mammoth facing right. You can see a lot of etching going on. That's the hair of the mammoth. And after uh, these were only made in paleo times, and they were made all the way from 12,000 years ago, all the way to 3 million years ago. Homo habilis made these, Neanderthals made them, uh, Homo erectus made them. You'll see videos on my website of Neanderthal, Homo erectus, Homo habilis, story stone effigies, uh, face and mammoth effigies, unbelievable. They go back 3 million years. Here's the eye of the face looking up and the nose and the mouth. 
Very cool face right there. Big slit eye, nose, mouth, look, looking up from the back of the mammoth. And then this is the mammoth with its little trunk up here in the, in the air there. Just an outstanding paleo volcanic glass face and mammoth effigy dug up on the island of West Java, Indonesia.